um, exhaustion. <laughs> we were out for uh, close to a year, uh, so the tour was quite long, um, but it was really, really great. We, I thought we played really well. Having the string section uh, traveling with us on the whole tour was really an exceptional thing. We all enjoyed it very, very much. Great, great, great musicians, every single one of them. And they became really a, a family with us, and we were very, very closely connected to them. Uh, in fact, I, I, I really, really miss them, and I'm still in touch with uh, a few of the players, you know, kind of on a weekly thing. Well, it's very important. Um, you know, every tour, we want to have it a little bit different. We address the set list as much as we can with other material. The visual presentation is very important. With Clockwork Angels particularly, we had a, a storyline, a concept of what the record was about. Um, and because we dedicated the major part of the second set to it and played most of the songs from the album and with the added string treatment, uh, it's very, very important to come up with something that's fresh and new and, and quite different. Well, depending on what the focus of that tour is, um, and, and usually it's whatever album we've released, we kind of work the visuals around uh, whatever the, uh, the storyline or the artwork or whatever pertains to that, that record. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier, I think. Uh, then it becomes thematic based on whatever we're uh, highlighting for that tour. Something like um, our last uh, 30th anniversary tour, our 30, uh, we, we treated that a little bit differently because it was a bit of um, a celebration of an anniversary. So that presentation included a lot of, um, you know, older uh, video stuff that we had in film and um, photographs from the past. You know, it was more about our history and, and how we presented it rather than a specific record. That's always a very, very tough one for us. Um, there are always a certain number of songs that we feel are must-play songs, like Tom Sawyer and Spirit of Radio, uh, those sort of songs that are, I suppose you could say that are rush hits, radio hits, uh, and familiar to our, our entire audience. There are a lot of new Rush fans, I think, that have come on board in the last four or five years, and they connect with those songs. They're the ones that they've you know, learned something about the band from. Uh, certainly for our older fans, there's probably a greater cross-section of demand for older material and, and more obscure material, perhaps stuff that we don't play very often. So we try to address that as well. And then of course what we want to do is the most recent material that we've released. Uh, that's always the most satisfying for us. It's the most current, it's the most exciting to play. So it's a real balancing act. I don't think you can make everybody happy, unfortunately, um, but we try our best and uh, and who knows what the future holds. I'd like to think that at some point we, we might, um, you know, pull in more obscure Rush songs that, that we've never played before, readdress them with new arrangements and, and, uh, and present them that way. But, you know, you never know. Very much so. We've been very close with our crew and uh, all levels of our crew. Not only our direct uh, band crew, but in the crews that we hire for a particular two of the lighties, the, the, the sound guys, um, the riggers, you know, all of, all of that. Um, it's, it's really interesting to see so many faces come back and a lot of the guys, you know, drop whatever tour they're on to come back to our tour. Uh, and it's a, it feels really good, I think, for us to know that there's such a sense of family that so many people, you know, want to come back and, and be there for that event. I mean, we try to be very close with everybody in our crew. There's um, an incredible level of, um, like, a standard that everybody sets and uh, everybody contributes to the, to the success of, of each and every show. And it's nice to know, you know, there aren't any people that are kind of slack on their jobs or just do it because it's a job. Everybody pulls for everybody else. If one of the lighting guys goes down, then one of the sound guys pitches in and, 
and those sort of things, you know, amongst all the crew members. So it's, uh, it's really gratifying to know that everybody's committed as much as we are.